something double digit thousand sex. <laughs> All right, YouTube, we are back to my testing station, and I wanted to show you how to make a 2.1 setup a possibility. Now, the easiest way is to use a 2.1 amplifier. Now, some of you guys have said, well, I don't want a 2.1 amplifier. What if, what if I already have some amplifiers at home? So here I have my testing amp right here, and I have this other amp. And don't worry, all these wires look ridiculous. You're never going to be able to really trace those. I'm going to tell you how to do it. It's very simple. Um, you do need to have two amplifiers. They do not have to be the exact same amplifier. This is actually a Shure 2 by 50 watt, I think. And this is a Shure, and this is, I, I don't know, no name brand. And it's a very, very uh, light amplifier. The only thing that you do need to make sure with the two amplifiers is that they will run off the same voltage. And in this case, we're going to run it off 12 volts. So as long as they both run off 12 volts, 19 volts, whatever voltage that you're going to run off of, you got to do that. Now, you are going to need one of these. This is what you call a subwoofer low-pass board. You can buy these off of uh, like Parts Express for like $7. Very cheap. Now, here's how you hook it up. First thing you got to do is hook up the power. Now, you notice that I have the power hooked up here to a power thing. And it's hard to see, but you'll see that there's two wires hooked up here, and then this is hooked up to the other power wire. That's because all three powers need to be hooked up. So you need to run a power to here, a power to here, and a power to here. Now because power can be chained, you can hook that up in any succession you want to. I just run them all off that first wire. And that's the same for the ground. So you need to run the ground to this one, this one, and this one. It's that simple. Now is where you have to start hooking up your line in, which for us is a mini cable. Now you can use any type of input, mini, Bluetooth, whatever. You are going to need to hook up. Now each one of these has a left, a right, and a ground on it. You're going to need to hook up a left, a right, and a ground to each unit, uh, which would be these two units. The amplifier that's going to power your speakers and the one that's going to end your subwoofer board. Okay, You do not run it to this which would be the amplifier that's going to run the subwoofer. Not yet. We'll explain why. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the right cable. You're going to wire the two right cables together, and you're going to run them into your in. On your subwoofer board, it actually says right, left, and ground in. And on this board also, it has a right, left, and ground in. And so you're going to run the rights into those, the lefts into those, and the grounds into those two boards. Now... You may say, okay, that's fine, but now we don't have this amplifier hooked up. That's correct. Now, I actually just took a 3.5 millimeter cable and cut the end off. And that's sitting right there. You only need one wire for this, which is either the right or the white. You also need the ground. And the ground usually doesn't have any covering on it at all. Um, it's just a bare wire. So we have the ground, and I use the red wire doesn't matter which wire you use. You can use the red or the white. That's going to come out of your subwoofer boards. If you look at your subwoofer board, there is a red and a black out. The black is for ground, and the red is for positive. It's an out. You need to plug it up to one of these that goes into the input. So plug your ground to your ground, and then plug it either to the red or the white. That's going into here. Now, you just need to hook up your speakers. You have this one which hooks up to your subwoofer, which us, we're using the Hi-Vi B4N. And now these two connect to these. If you're wondering what these are, these are baffle step correctors. Uh, don't worry about that. That you don't need for this. That's just to make these speakers sound better. All right, guys, give me a second, and I will play some music through these so you can hear the difference between the subwoofer and without a subwoofer. We're going to play Volcano Trap by Gunnar Olsen. That way you can get an idea of what this 2.1 does. Take a look at that woofer. There you go. Now, let's turn the woofer off. Any difference? Turn it back on. Oh, my 
it on. Now, you can easily tell the difference with the woofer on and off. Now, obviously, these are all just test boxes, so that's why they look like junk. Um, but yeah, that's what the 2.1 does for you. So these, especially if you're using these little speakers, they cannot produce enough bass for you. So that's why you want one of these little woofers, and that's how you hook up a 2.1 system. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, as always, and I will be back with some more videos shortly. Thanks, guys. Double digit thousand seconds.